Every time we have a new intern, they come with very different gifts. Our role as a committee is to provide support, whether that's support for housing, social opportunities, or growth in their experience here. It's just to help them in any way that we can to have a good relationship with the congregation and a good experience and to learn during their year with us. It is definitely interactive, definitely reciprocal, and that has been a very pleasant surprise. That's why I look forward to being on these committees. This is my testing ground. God is allowing me to make my mistakes here in a nurturing environment where people already understand that I'm going to make mistakes because I wasn't a pastor prior to this. We're not here to tell them how to do it or to lay down strict goals, but to just help them realize where they, where they need to improve, discover their strengths, and where they have room to grow. I believe that feedback is a gift, and so as I try to find uh, feedback that might be helpful, it's real important to me to present that in a way that uh, the intern can hear it uh, and be careful of bringing my own stuff into that equation because this is all about trying to, trying to help the intern. I think oftentimes um, people can just kind of walk around what they're really trying to say without saying it and that really doesn't serve a purpose on this kind of a committee. I think just really feeling that you need to share that message and allow this person to grow from these comments. That has to be a real solid part of everybody on the committee, I think. You're putting up a facade. That facade could keep us from actually connecting. And in God's work, God wants us to connect uh, with everybody. And that's what I'm here for, uh, to connect with them. And I want them to connect with me. I think what our congregation does well is that we care for our vicar. We, we, we learn how to love that person and learn how to help them grow as a pastor. It's a confidential relationship that we have with them so that there's a safe place to be able to come and talk about things that might be happening that they don't know who to talk to. We're there for the intern. We're a trusted agent between them and the congregation. It's not a huge commitment. Um, because I think sometimes when people think about getting involved at church, it's like, oh, I'd like to get involved, but I don't have a lot of time to give. And so as a busy mom with kids, like it's just nice to be able to contribute without it taking over other things that are a priority too. I've been a chair for this year and last year as well. So that has really helped me to speak up a little bit more, to become a lot more organized to kind of guide and define how we want to be as a committee. When I was first a committee member, our chair did a wonderful job of explaining our role. We received the video from Luther, and then he also let us know about the paperwork that we would be confronted with. And so I think we were well prepared. I think the literature that we received helped us to know how to form the committee and what we would need to know for that. God is saying English Lutheran is going to be there so that you can stumble but not stay down. That's what an internship is. It's so that all of us who are called into the ministry of the gospel can have someone to practice it. We're just here as servant leaders to, to help them become successful. It feels nice just to, uh, to think that I have an impact we think we're making a contribution to future people who will be involved in pastoral ministries and it's a greater cause than just us. That feels good too. The end result is that God expands our hearts in getting to know another person, whether it's the intern, whether it's other people on our committee. And so that just expands out. So the members of our church kind of grow to love and accept and that's the biggest movement that God is making in our congregation.